Hey guys, how's it going? Jason Sational here, and welcome back to the channel, where today, boy, do I have a blast from the past for you. Yesterday, it was TF Fizz. Today, it is Azir Aurelia. Now, you may be wondering, Jason, hasn't Azir Aurelia been nerfed to the ground? Why are you playing it right now? Um, to answer that question, yes, Azir Aurelia has been nerfed very drastically. Um, to any of you unfamiliar with the deck was like before, I think the biggest change to this deck has been Flawless Duet increasing to 2 mana, which made most people shy away from the deck, even the hardest of one tricks. They all just flew away from the deck. But what's happening now is we have this really weird meta where there's a lot of aggro to counter all of the uh, Ken and Ari decks, and then there's a lot of control decks to counter all of the aggro decks. And then finally come full circle, where there's this deck, that both beats Ken and Ari and beats up on slow control decks. And Azir Aureli has always really fit in that spot to just like really beat down on the slow third week control decks. That really has never changed. And like a two mana floss duel at duet, you know, definitely shunted the deck a little bit more, making its plays a little bit slower, making its turns a little bit weaker. But overall, its role within the deck has still been to beat up on those slow control decks. And it does that very well by playing all the Sand Soldier cards. So you have cards like Emperor's Deus. You have especially the card Azir. And what you do is you keep sending in free attacks to summon waves and waves of blades and Sand Soldiers. And the control decks can only deal with maybe one or two waves. Uh, especially within a turn, it's very difficult for them to actually manage their mana. And when you just have a flipped Azir, flipped Aurelia, um, you have like the Deus is on board, maybe have like a 5-5 five, five Sparring Student. All this comes together just really beat down on some of these decks. And then you still have a little bit of Ionia protection cards. You have a one of Shapes on this being Shreema, for, of course. But um, you have one Lead and Fall, you have three Twin Disciplines, you have a Deny, you even have like a Homecoming. You have a lot of, still a lot of protection tools within this deck. And there's more you can run, you can put in Nope Fives if you really want to. But what this deck does really well is just a beat up on those slow control decks. And I think we're seeing a lot more of these within the meta so far. So I decided to... Uh, Pull it up for a quick few games on ladder, and it actually did really well for me. Um, beating down on darkness and beating up Ken and Ari, and if you you know high roll right into aggro decks, you can still outrace them just fine. So definitely a blast from the past. If you guys loved this deck beforehand like I did, um, you'd love playing it now too. So try it out for yourself. See what it's like. Black boss won. Oh well, I don't know if he won. He did very well with it in one of the tournaments previous NA seasonal champion and so this deck does have a little bit of backing behind it has my certification behind it as well feels really solid um draw well get a little bit lucky and you're just gonna roll games all day but thank you guys so much for tuning in today and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out guys share <laughs> black boss mono ionia let's do it mm. So in this matchup, we're really looking for Azir. Azir is pretty much number one. The rest can somewhat be a little bit more flexible. Uh, Shapestone, do I want? No, I just want to find more of the engine cards. And these are indeed the engine cards that I'm looking for. This hand is really bussin' bussin'. <laughs> Never gonna say that again. Apologies. But uh, this hand's really good. Um, I'm probably a little bit skeptical about playing the Green Blade Duo, just because it trades into the Elusives, and that's not like super good at all. I can probably just bank this mana going in. Well now, I could play to block that. It's not bad. With Field Musicians coming down, I need ways to be able to like, dump my spell mana. So this looks fine to set up for the Azir. I save myself 2 health by playing it here. Keeping my mana up isn't as important. I could go really wide here, just play Azir. I like going wide here because it's much harder for him to go wide this turn. Um, now he can like simply like recall and... Ooh, do I save one for Field Musician? Huh, I wasn't really thinking about the Field Musician, but we'll get there when we get there. Let's just go and shove some damage. Okay, it's kind of annoying. Yeah, this didn't turn out as well as I'd hoped, but um, we're getting in for a good amount of damage here. 
Eight damage is all right. Could have just played a Zir and gone to Sanzel off there. Because right now we're not proccing field musicians even if we do play it. So this turn probably even just play a Zir and we can go in with like Blossoming Blade. We are pretty darn close to flipping a Zir already too. That was like a really explosive start for us which is good. Um, makes his turns a little bit more awkward because he's slowed down. Has to spend more men on units to commit to blocks. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, I just play Azir here. Next turn I have an option of playing Fuel Musicians or the Blossoming Blade. And then that can be another discussion. I'll happily block here. Um, actually I'll block Droplet, they both have one health. Whereas Droplet has a little bit more utility. My Looses on the other hand have very little utility. Yep, makes sense. So, I can't... or can I? I can go Feud Musicians into Defiant Dance. Ride of Calling. So Ride of Calling potentially gives me Aurelia. Aurelia is not super appealing at this current moment. If I go Feud Musicians, I can then go Defiant Dance. Which is potentially alright, there's nothing really I want to Defiant Dance. But it could just slow down his game plan, set up my game plan a little bit better. And um, if he taps under Deny, it's like, you know, we don't really have much in his deck that we actually want to Defiant Dance. And might as well just set up ourselves for an opportunity. Sure. So this goes to 3. He has to kill this. The order is given. And then... Oh, it's on. And then we'll see what happens. Ideally, I'd... Oh, I can just Defiant Dance now. Cool, cool. Um, so let's see what happens. And then we'll just quickly Defiant Dance and draw a card. It's likely the only opportunity we actually get to do this. So let's just bounce this back. Draw a card. And progress towards our Zir. Once we have Blossoming Blade, that's going to be a huge threat for him. Lovely. Kennen's still very far away from flipping. A Zir level up coming down is huge. We get to draw another card. Okay. And then, ideally, we just, like, find our Aurelia for next turn. Okay, so we're applying a lot of pressure here, too. Unfortunately, we're only getting one Sand Soldier, um, because it's just the Aziri. But, these cycles and draws are so good. We have some really easy chump blocks. Potentially wants, like, what, recall my Azir? That's not, like, the worst. That is this whole turn. And this is just going to get chump block forever. His cannon's not flipping very quickly. So he's thinking about like recalling the droplet, which is fine. But then we'll probably just like ride of arcane. Okay. Says is elusive, which makes sense. He's looking to sort of race us down. Bouncing droplet, it seems. Check out these moves. The forest surrounds us. Break the silence. Why would he not attack with this? Quietly now. That answers that. How much mana do I need next turn? Next turn I'm going in with seven plus three. So, if I use this for mana, it's 9. So, I mean, we'll just block here, and then we'll figure out what we want to do. Oh, so we can- we get a free block here. It's not, like, free, but it's practically free. Save ourselves 2 health, I guess. 
the main question is, do we use this on to here or do you use it for mana? Next turn, if we use it for mana here, we only have 10 plus 3. Um, versus if we use it on a unit, we can play this and Aurelia. Which seems much better. So let's kill an ally, draw a champion. Like, I can still expect this to get nopified. But um, having 8 mana, allowing me to play both Aurelia and Blossom Blade is huge. Nice. That was really big. What shall we play for your dance? Play Wait, am I? Oh, I miscounted my mana. Whoops. This is a good draw. That was definitely a little bit Pepega. But um, I think we're ultimately still pretty fine here. Like, this might need to get denied. We have the Ribbon Dancer. We're aiming to kill him this turn. Even if he bounces our Azir, that's perfectly fine. Calming a Rally doesn't really do anything because I can still swap her into combat. I expect like a deny here. Okay, no fights that. Makes sense. That could find us like an Azir and give us like another unit to attack with. Either way, I'm trying to just end the game this turn. And if I don't end the game, I think most of this board should get disintegrated. Like, it makes his turn very awkward. He potentially has like a homecoming in his hand. But with the blade surges now, it gives it's very hard for him to be reactive. And then if he lets us through, I just full swing, he makes his blocks, I get double blade surge. I don't need to go for lethal, I just need to put myself in a position that, you know, I'm at least getting favorable trades, and that's really good. Let it go. Okay. I don't think you're tapping under 4. That just gives me a little bit too much info. Yeah, I didn't really think so. I could like do this and go for the Arise. But I don't know if I need to do that. He has to block a lot here. Because I can just swap this Aurelia for anything. Catch me if you can. He you realistically has to full block, and then I just swap Aurelia this way. Mm, is that more important than like killing his Ari? Probably not. Because I can get another Azir here if I need to. And then I can even just like sack this soldier. And he likely has to react to this. So like, I don't know if he can just lose his entire board. It's very hard for him to redevelop in a meaningful way. Like, he needs another R to realistically kill me. Or if he develops too much, we can just put down the Blossoming Blade and just end the game as well. I would love for my Azir to survive, but at this point I don't think it's super necessary. I think this game was a good example of field musicians just really putting in the work against these slower kind of decks. Being able to not only cheat out mana, but also just draw a card is really good just as a nice value engine. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, sick. Sick game, sick game. Ooh, okay, this is gonna be a lot harder into like Fizz Lulu aggro. Um, Flame Chopper is being probably like the main suspect. His hand is no good. We're looking for Azir still, and then probably Sparring Student to really stabilize. Playing this on 2 can be a little bit dangerous depending on how slow his opening is. But, like, playing Ribbon Answer on 2 is not, like, where I want to be either. Okay, I think I pass first. He passes back, I'm perfectly happy. Um, I'm still not gonna play Ribbon Dancer, but 
Having a little bit more information going to this turn could be good. Loping. Loping is very slow. Loping makes me happy to play Deus, because even if he has Lulu, like, Azir is, like, perfectly fine. Worst case scenario is, like, Lulu plus Poro Cannon into Flame Chompers or something the likes. But we just need, at this point, just, like, we're racing now. That's actually a really good draw. It makes our Azir play awkward this turn, which we sort of need. And now I'm very happy playing Azir, because it blocks so nicely here. Um, the issue is, like, I get excited, potentially, on the Azir. So maybe I don't even block here, Flame Chompers. Okay, so that saves me a little bit of trouble. And decision making. Because now we're like racing. It's a good card defensively. I just want to start applying pressure now. Hoping it'll work towards my Azir flip, I can play this. I can even play this if I want to, but might not get to that point, we'll see. Okay, wow. Very expensive. Minion. Off of Loping, sure. So, the issue is he can just play, uh... He can just play, um... What's its face next turn, right? Yodon Arms, which I think he's, like, presumably setting up to do. So in this position, I just want to trade on board, right? Like, if I know he- oh, that was silly. Ooh, that was not good at all. Wow, that was dumb. But this attack is still correct, he's basically setting up for like a Yodon Arms. The more board I can trade down, the better. Um, I can like Defiant Dance the Flame Chompers, and it's all fine and dandy. I definitely misplayed by like, you know, I could've held one of these back. Get an extra summon on Azir. That was a little bit sloppy. But I still feel very confident in this position. Even if he plays like Yoron Arms, like that's not the end of the world. She's not to even play Yoron Arms here. So what's my play? I can just play this. If he develops further, he gets punished, sort of. Uh I could just like defiant dance this. It's not even that bad. Because now next turn we're just looking to end things. Sure. Next time. Arise. We're just like applying so much pressure here. Azir being leveled um, means that he's not prone to dying. And then next turn we just send a couple waves down his face. not in danger of getting burnt and he has eight health here he's going to be facing a lot of sand soldiers next turn and now they're all going to have two attack you might even see like a defensive uh Ooh, i don't agree with this at all like why not just pull this and make me block here all right is drawing aurelia better so like next turn If next turn we have uh, five mana, with a rally we have all the mana we need. If rally gets like mystic shotted, that's kind of bad. Come, we have an empire to build. Is that the same position? So where should we draw Zir? We can just like play Blossing Blade. I don't think there's like a rush here just yet, so we'll play it patiently. Oh, well then. <laughs> Hmm. I mean, that's just better than Blossoming Blade, then. Because, like, he has to just shoot it now, otherwise he's gonna attack first, level um, Aurelia, and then just have a Blade Surge. Like, he has to answer this now. He chooses not to answer it now. Which I think was a mistake. Maybe he couldn't answer it now, but he really needed something there to answer it. Really lucky on our part. Like, I'll just swap the block here. And now I have the, like, Flawless to it. You being at 2 mana means you have, like, no answers to anything here. And, like, I don't even need to kill you this turn. I just play this and then play this. Actually, you're still dead this turn. Are you? Uh, 
four. Yeah, you're still dead this turn. Wow, this deck. <laughs> this deck is kind of this deck's kind of for me. Because you take two, and then once you block, it just swap. Wow, that's so nutters. So crazy. Man, this deck was insane. Imagine when this deck was actually better than it was. Wow. Crazy deck. We did draw really well, and he had a really slow start, and then we were just able to out-pressure him through that. Because, like, we played Deus on two and got, like, got away with it against an aggro deck. Crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Black bot. Oh god, that's hilarious. He lost his zero early, then went back on to zero early. Well, how the turntables. Um, it's kind of interesting. We do have Deus. We don't have a one drop to capitalize on Deus. We don't have our champions. If you play this, we can't play this. This isn't even that good on two attacking. So put, or just keep Deus, look for like a one drop, and then a zero. Mm, it's a really bad hand. One drop. Oh, saved. If he attacks, it can't even trade, which is a little unfortunate. Yeah. So he has an extra Aurelia proc. We gotta play Develop Deus here. And like now, him playing his Deus means that we get a swing. Do I trade? I think I can't not attack, so I'll just take a trade here. Oh, I see. Okay. We still have the Deus, we have like Ribbon Dancer, but we don't have like our champions, and that's a little bit worrying. Like, we need to find Azir fast. Really is at least okay. Let's see if we need any blockers first. We can play Rally to block the Sand Soldier. Now at least we're like leveling Aurelia at a decent rate. Question is, do I have mana to play flawless to it here? I do. I did pick up the Dune Keeper, so I don't need to play like Ribbon Dancer here. I can just go double one drop and at least have like a board of block things. Aurelia getting its progress fast is going to be very important. It's kind of dangerous. We can't even attack the Relia, huh? See what I mean, we can now. Follow my lead. It would take a lot of willpower to block with Azir there. Oh, but he doesn't have shapes on them. It's like if he had shapes, then he could block here. No, that's not even true. We got away with like a slight bluff. Um, unless you can like. Ooh, he could play the 5 drop, and then we might just, like, get rolled over. That could be a little bit scary. So, he has to win next turn, and we have to win on the following. Very tight clocks. But, if he has Blossoming Blade, we're at a huge disadvantage. The only, like, saving grace is that Azir doesn't flip yet. Because Blossoming Blade is what? Four stacks for each of these, they go to six. I'm practically dead if he has Blossoming. Just kind of pray he doesn't. This summons three. Attacks for two. If he's thinking hard about it, I suspect he doesn't have Blossoming Blade. Where they fall, oh, Aurelia. Equally disgusting. Like, this is really, isn't really counter-pressure, either. Let's go to 5. So we're not dying this turn. We have to win on the following turn, which is going to be slightly difficult. None of these block. This blocks something. I need to have a wide board. 
So I probably go this, this if I need to. Whoa. Really? Do I care? Can I twin it? Probably not. If I twin it, he can't twin back because then he can't do it. Do I care about killing Aurelia here? Also, probably not. I don't think that matters for us. Okay. I'm at 15, I can play around shaped. Ugh. But I'd have to full block this. And I'm still dying? Yeah, there's no option to. If he has shaped, yeah, shaped. Shaped's only like a 1 of in his deck, last I saw. I need 4 blockers. And I can't block the Relia. They'll never see us coming. Fight for the first lands. The order is given. Keep your distance. Oh, the summon. Ah, I totally forgot about that. Damn, these guys really got us. I'm not sure there's much we could have done in that position. Um, the elusives, we didn't have any blockers. It, it was just a little bit of a race there, and he definitely got us. I thought we were almost there. We need a full block. I, I forgot to calculate that, the fact that those added to the count. But like without a zero of our own, like our blade dances just aren't very threatening. And like Aurelia's cute and all when she levels, but it's just not impactful enough. Darkness, huh? I'm curious about this matchup. Like, they just can't really deal with Azir, but we can't really deal with Vagar. So, like, we still have the same strategy of trying to apply pressure. Mm. Like, this is a good 1-2. Not really, because this trades into the 3-2. It's actually really bad if he has Catalyzer. It's, like, super bad. Ugh, cause in this matchup, in these briny control matchups, you really want Azir, right? And like, Deus? <sighs> I'm just gonna go with the gut feeling. Okay, this is really good because it trades into the 3-2. This is not where I want to be. Like, the Blade Dance cards are good, but we really need the backing of the Sand Soldier cards. Not the yeah the sand soldier cards in order to actually do anything. So he runs go hards. Just not sure if I was expecting. Okay, there is a zero. A zero is super good. So banking two mana here is really good. If he plays catalyze. I will just play treasure seeker to trade. I should trade now just in case he like pings it next turn. Okay. I'm happy with this trade. Because if I wait till next turn, he could like pokey stick it, and then Azir doesn't block that. But now we go Azir into like potentially something else. I don't know if it's a rally on three, but we have some decent options. Oh god, we should have passed, huh? Well, Darkness is gonna be able to kill Azir. Even beyond that, this Catalyze is gonna get another hit in. Oh god, that's so bad for us. It's hard to describe how bad that was for us. It's kind of crazy. On, I wish I had like a twin to protect this. Wow, that's insane. The second Catalyzer was brutal. Absolutely brutal. Because our Azir's not level to actually deal with this. Oncologist is fine. He's probably looking for a way to deal with the duo. So now his darkness deals four. 
no, no, it deals five. It's gonna deal six. If he has like any way to generate darkness and aim at a zero, we just lose. We don't have any bounce here. So he struck what? Once, twice, three times. So it deals five, it's gonna deal six. Ugh, the only limiting factor that he has is his mana. So like we go Deus, Aurelia, and try to race. He can't play Darkness here, which is good for us. Every blade, every beat in its place. <laughs> it's gonna deal seven next turn. Assuming he attacks with this. He doesn't have to, but. Ugh. That's disgusting. That's words can't describe how disgusting that is. Oh, the twin. The twin's super interesting. It does save our Zier, Zier flips. And then I really need six more. We're not wide enough right now. Unless we play like Blossoming Blade. We're so close. I don't think we're going to get there at this moment, but we're so close. Him need to put, save three mana for darkness. He can still whale this turn. And then whale plus darkness will kill his ear. We can't save it. If we had like a blossoming blade, or not blossoming blade, but uh, whatever it's called. Um, the, uh, the recall card. She's just not even to play the darkness. Whoa. It's kind of crazy. I wish I could give you silks. That's really crazy. And now he needs to have a darkness or he needs to have a ping to deal with the Relia. Oh my god, that's so much damage too. Now this swing levels Aurelia. Group shot? No. There's no way you run <sighs> created by Concolage. Damn, that's so brutal. Yeah, we're pushing a lot of damage here. I still think this wasn't correct from our opponent. He's just like straight up sacked as or like dealt with his ear. Because now he's super strict on his mana, right? Man, if I had shapes on, I just win the game here. It's crazy. Now he's still forced to spend three mana on Azir. And like now he can't deal with my Aurelia. And then he's never going to be able to kill my Aurelia because I can just simply, um, like have the have the thing. Like he had an insane start, but. It's not gonna matter. I follow you to the black heart of Noxus itself. Shoulder set, blade sharpened, plant that lead foot. And you can't block here. That's three free damage. Now you're just dead. Oh, and the defiant. Navari, formations. Um, uh, do this. So he has to block both here. But this really can't matter. With this, like, it's just over. We just okay this. Cause he's uh no we should present lethal now. I don't want to like swap now and if he vengeances me that might be a little bit awkward. It's not even the end of the world if he vengeances me. Let's just do this. Let's present lethal and then in, if he vengeances now he taps under any response like flawless to it and things like that. Like this has to be a vengeance. Ooh, Event Horizon. It's cute.
We should twin here though. What if he has another ping? Like we're still fine here. We're still winning. It's fine. I don't think I need to do anything here. Uh, let's just force it, see if he has it. Like, he has to have another ping here, otherwise he's dead. And then he's still dead. Like, he's just dead three ways. Oh, I should've, uh, what am I doing? I should've twinned Aurelia. That was really silly. I don't know why I didn't do that. We're, sh we're still winning this game, but... Classic, you know? Classic mistake, shaking off the rust. Oh, the Darkness player? Alright, so if he doesn't have, like, double Calizer, you know, and we have the same kind of hand, I definitely feel a lot more comfortable. Like, if he's limiting factors that we go so fast that, you know, he, he doesn't have time to, like, cheapen his darknesses. Do we keep this just to, like, block Catalyzer? Maybe. We'll try it out. We have Azir, we have Deus. We even have Aurelia. Just to make sure his game plan doesn't spiral too much out of control. Could be interesting, like, he could pass on turn 2 to bait me to play Deus. Like, either way, even if I play a 0 on turn 3, he could still play Catalyzer. So that's still an uncomfortable position. But if he passes here, we just take the pass back so that we can play a 0 next turn. It's kind of funny how that works. If I play this, he can also just have a ping. Yeah, so that's fine. We just play a 0. It limits our potential to, like, attack this turn, but we have so much going on with our hand that I think we can be a little bit more patient about it. We're just missing like a like the two drop blade dance card and we're like really set. If he has nothing here then whew. Oh. Forgot about that card. That's uh that's unfortunate. Like if we had like the flawless duet, not flawless duet, the uh the uh the balance the blossoming no the the twin the true the the you guys know what i'm talking about everything's better with company says you do you have the vile feast okay so he is running go hards in his deck gonna confirm on um, this turn we want to get Aurelia down I guess it's a good draw I think Aurelia makes like playing duo awkward feels like another vengeance that could be a little bit weird as well we need to start leveling up our champions though and Aurelia is the best way to do it I would love to just like sneak in a duo here as well depending on what he does I do need to have the ability to comfortably attack twice this turn. So potentially I just ditch the duo and just go in here and then attack with twin up. Because I am going to play flawless to it this turn. They've missed their beat. Sure. You have twin up. Uh, this is like a whale, right? Oh, we should have just attacked then. Like, if I think he's gonna whale, we should have just simply attacked. Oh, but it's not a whale. <sighs> okay. Um. Mm, that vengeance threw me off a little bit. Totally forgot about that card. It's like losing a zero there was definitely rough. I didn't think we weren't not gonna play a zero on turn three, but. Uh, not having like blossoming blade, not have not sorry, not having like the field musicians for extra bit of draw, not having uh, I don't know some other cards. Definitely a little bit, you know. We're gonna fall short on value. We need to find either like a right of right of calling to find another Zir, or potentially like a uh, let's play like hot decks like a. Okay. I was gonna say that, like, the, uh... If he had, like... I guess, like, any darkness just being a kill Aurelia, huh? 
But if he had darkness, he wouldn't just like double ping it, would he? Like he would just play out. I don't know. Uh, the Dark Wolf Acolyte and just threaten to darkness my Relia. I'm pretty far away from actually flipping the Aurelia, so if he has like a darkness next turn and just aims it at it, I just can't do anything to save it. And that's kind of worrying. Because like, w in this kind of matchup, without like any champions, we're going to struggle quite a bit. Oh, shapes done, what a draw. Set up. That's like a really good find down. I want to be able to level up Aurelia. How do I do that? So this is 3, goes to 8. Goes to 10, 11. It's not enough. So this turn I could go this, this, this. And that's 2, 4 versus three and then i'd be in the same spot 12 still not quite enough but i think defiant dance here is just slightly better i don't want like him getting free blocks this center because i'm planning on blade dancing a lot here and like if he gets a free like free chump or two that's very bad for us like we need to flip this aurelia as fast as we can by next turn or at least try to draw into another spell because this has to be protected we can also just say, like, he does have another ping, and just, like, pray. So close. Does playing Blossoming Blade next turn flip it? No. So this is 2. I go to 9, I'm 5 off. This is only 3. Ugh, if only Azir stuck around for this whole time, we just straight up win. I guess that's the trade-off of like playing Catalyze on 2, you can't Vengeance on 3, and then it suddenly just makes the rest of your curve awkward. It's kind of an interesting trade-off. I got a second Deus as well, Whew. Yeah, this is a little bit sketchy. Except the Prey, there's no ping. I don't like... That's even better. Because now we can threaten an open attack. And now I don't really care about the Aurelia as much because we have Azir. That's such a good draw. Holy crap. What a save. So now we just attack and this is a 5 wide board that levels Aurelia. So he has to answer Aurelia right now. And maybe he was like holding a whale to deal with my board. If he wants a whale, he has to whale now. And then it makes the rest of his turn a lot more awkward. Unfortunately, it looks like a ping. Damn. Unfortunate. I'll attack first just to make his whale worse. Like, if he has whale, I don't want to give him the opportunity to whale like this twice. Sort of. Now I have Flawless Duet plus Bossing Blade. If he doesn't whale now, he's going to take a lot of damage from the duet. Like, he can't really get away with playing Senna here. That's just so much pressure. I, sus I expect like a whale here, which would be good. It's the best case scenario for us. Potentially, I wasn't supposed to attack with Azir. It's a tough a one. Does not he could also vengeance Azir here, but I think he'd block something else if that was your plan. Not a whale. Can't even play Senna now. Alright, so we just flawless right here. Hopefully that's another unit. Or not hopefully, but okay, so I just blocks. He takes four at minimum this turn, and then we have Blossing Blade if he ever plays Senna. He's just so restricted on his mana points. That is zero top deck was so huge. It's a little unfortunate we couldn't get the Aurelia level up as well, because then we just would have won the game on this spot. So even if he blocks here, here he still takes 4. And then playing Senna is a lot more restricted. He can, let's see, he goes to 8, 10, he can Senna Whale. But then he doesn't kill Azir. 
Oops, there's another ping, which means he can no longer send a whale. So I need one more Blade Dance card to really try to close the game out here. Still takes four. Seems a little greedy here. I would've just maybe sacked off the Oncologist, but... Like, he still took four there. And now he can't send a whale me? And I just Blossoming Blade on you? And I draw Relia? What the heck? Dude, I misplayed this deck a bit. Feels a lot like Plunder in the sense that you draw your champions, just win games. Wild how that works, huh? Like, you just can't play center here. And I guess you could, but like, what are you gonna do with 3 mana darkness, huh? Wait, you're just dead. You have to darkness a sand soldier. Wow, that's crazy. And then I just drop a rally and it's GG. That's so crazy. Yeah, I don't like the, uh, his, his Pokestick last turn was a little bit weird, but, like, this is never the position you want to be put yourself in. Yeah, he gets a free attack with Sen, I guess, to get another Darkness, but... As long as we play around Ruination, we always win. Like, yeah, you can get another Darkness, buddy. You should attack. This deck is so disgusting. Ha! Oh, gives me the chills. Oh my god, I remember this deck. The... I don't know if it's nostalgia, but... It's something evil brewing inside me that's just like... Oh, this deck feels so disgusting. I love it. Oh man, I'm... Oh god, this deck is so great. I did like this deck back in the day. Call me a degenerate if you will, but I quite enjoyed this deck. So now once he ruinates inside the fall, let's do it, and it just ends the game. I don't really see an out here. What's funny is if he mini morphs a rally, I can no longer play it surge. It's kind of funny how that works. Uh, what if it's like Senna spell? Does that even work? I don't think so. Especially when we can like, you know, just Blade Surge something. We still deal 4 damage here, even if it is Senna spell. Senna spell plus ping doesn't really do it. Like, Whale is the best chance, but there's no combination of cards that really do anything. Yeah, just cleaning up house, drawing all of our champions.